Hello everyone. Welcome to Billy Home and Creations. This is Billy. I hope you had a wonderful Mother's Day and spent, uh, you know, a great time with your family. I was um, out of town on a camping trip, a band camping trip, and it was a wonderful weekend. We had a good time and now I'm home and I've been trying to play catch up. So today I want to go back to a little steampunk. Um, I've been watching Claire on, on Claire's Crafty Corner, and she's been doing some beautiful um, steampunk pe uh, pendants, and they're absolutely gorgeous. So go see Claire and see what she's up to with her, her steampunk. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, and thank you for being here, um, I tend to collect everything, and I love my steampunk, and I take things apart. If something has parts to it, I take it apart. So, for instance, I dug out all my parts, and this is my steampunk version. Um, I've got a tote here with big pieces, and um, I was going to pick out a few things because I'm not sure what color resin I want to use for my background. But uh, I've done bronze before, and I've done a beautiful green, and I it might be one of those two. But... I want to see what will actually fit in here. Now, here's another bunch. <laughs> and I was looking at these, and um, the mold goes up almost a half an inch. So I don't want to go over half an inch with my um, pieces that I'm putting in. Well, I can a little bit, as long as the clock handles don't hit it. But... I've got all of these components from taking things apart, and these pieces are quite tall. Um, they remind me of a little city, actually. So these pieces are quite tall. Not sure that I'll use those, but the only one I could find was this green, and it's almost a half an inch thick. So I do like that one. So I was wondering if... I use this piece if it would fit it would fit somewhere like that around the center of the clock where the mechanism comes through but then I'm thinking is that gonna make it look you know cockeyed a little bit um, I'm not quite sure so I've got some smaller components here in another a little box right here I have smaller ones, see, and then I could do a bunch of smaller ones, or maybe kind of equal this out a little bit with the smaller pieces, and most of these are green, so um, I could do it that way, you know, I could just kind of fill in with a few pieces there to make it look somewhat, you know, symmetrical or appealing to the eye, but... Yeah, I just take all these things apart. It, it's amazing what I, what I find. <laughs> so, anyway, I guess the answer to my question was, um, we'll probably do a green background. See, I could do all kinds of components here. Just to kind of square those up. And I may. So I'm going to keep this box out. But I think definitely I'm going to go with this big piece here. And we're not going to fill it in until the um, resin is poured because I surely don't want to put these on my mold because there's some, you know, bumps and little sharp edges there. But we're guessing right now. We're just going to, we're making a plan together. How's that? We're making a plan. So I also, oh my goodness, you won't believe it. I've got a jar of smaller pieces here. Because I'm going to load this up. I love loading them up. And oh my goodness, here's some more. And I've got my gears and my keys. I need to dig out some butterflies or moths and some watch faces. So, um, oh my goodness, look at this. These are watch faces. And all I know about steampunk is there's gears and a moth and a clock. Um, that's pretty much all I know about steampunk. But like I said, this is going to be my version. And I think it'd be really lovely for Father's Day. 
So let me see what we can do. Let's look at our mica powders. Now all of these have a beautiful sheen. And if we're going green, these came from, um, oh my goodness, uh, K Resin. When I bought some resin, they sent me 24 beautiful packets of mica powder. Um, there's a pretty bronze. The bronze will go with the green, but I think we're going to stick to a green. So let's, I know the only green they have in here is this alien, and that is like too, too, too much. And oh, I had a beautiful emerald, but it must be in my resin room. Okay. Um, these are my micas from the soap shop on Amazon. And these were the first micas I had ever purchased. And uh, let's see what kind of greens they have. I can't remember which one I used before. We don't want a lime. That's rather interesting with a little gold to it. Bronze. I love the bronze. Now, I did my last steampunk, I believe, with a bronze. Really, really pretty. Um, green pearl pistachio. That's... That's a possibility. Let's see what else we have in here for green. Mint, that's too bluish. Um, but oh, you, I have got quite a beautiful selection here from the soap shop. And uh, gosh, maybe I've used up more greens than I thought. Sepa, now that's pretty. Might be a little dark. And oyster, that's similar. And olive. We don't want that. All right. On to what I, what I have here. Pardon that. I clinked something. This is my Just For You Online UK. And I think most of these greens here have a bit of a teal tint to them. This one is rich teal. I don't think that will work. The only other one I have is uh, teal. It sparkles. Now that's, gosh, that's pretty too. Let's open that one up. Let's see what that looks like. It might be torn. Ooh, that's really pretty. I think that's going to be too much. It's going to have too much blue in it. And there's one more. Let me see which is that. And I don't, you know, I could do a black. That's that's always a possibility. And this is jungle green. Now, I don't think jungle green would work. Okay, that narrows it down. Ooh, spiced gold. I don't want to go gold. I don't want to go gold. So, the toss-up is oyster, sepa, pistachio, or pearl. Now... I'm actually liking the pearl. I think that will go with that green pretty well. It's going to be light, but I mean, we're going to fill this we're going to fill this bugger up pretty good. So, let's just go with the green pearl. And uh, you know, I could add a little sepia to it. Let's just see what happens. So, I'm going to go and mix up my Lex resin resin. And I'll have, to, oh, something else I wanted to say, too. Um, on this mold, you know, it's got these these spaces here for the, for the numbers. But they're, uh, apparently when you pour, these are open. There's nothing in it. Um, but I was looking around and I'm thinking, would this be pretty weird to set old batteries where those holes are? I think I can. I think I can. Um, and make those fill in for the spaces for the numbers. I think I'm going to do that too. Okay? All right. So I'm going to go mix up my resin. I'm not quite sure. Um, I'm going to get on my... Well, my phone is in use and I can't dare do that. It's two things at the same time on my phone just doesn't work out for me. Anyway... I'll see how much resin I need, and we're just going to pour a thin base color. I'm going to go mix resin, and I'll be right back, and we'll see what we can come up with, okay? 
Okay, I'm back. I mixed up some Let's Resin and I did one full cup and I went by weight. Now I've been watching Miss Wanda for a long time from Wanda's Blessed Creations and she's helped me immensely. Um, I want to let you know that she started using um, measuring her resin by weight versus volume and she's got a video out that's I can put that link to it because it it's pretty interesting and she's she's just a fun lady to watch anyway I needed to tell you this clock measures almost 13 inches across it's a big it's a big one so not very many bubbles and my I didn't re preheat this at all this is a very nice resin so when I did find my K resin Emer uh, evergreen that's so pretty that's what I used on my my lizards from last week's um, video I hope you watched that and enjoyed it so I have a little spoon and I thought we were gonna go pearl do a little light pearl but I think I'm gonna add a little of the emerald to it let's see what we can make out of this these are I wish they came in little jars, but they don't, so I get to fumble with my gloves on. Come on, you. Okay, open that up. A little pearl, and I guess we're just going to try to concoct our own color. And I'm going to give... Good amount of that. Yeah, good amount of that. And let's just go ahead. Now, oyster's more brown. Gosh, I'm torn. I'm really torn. I think I'm going to go a little oyster instead of the emerald. Just a little bit. Let's see what we can come up with here. I don't want to match that green piece exactly but I want it to have a, a hue that kind of matches it a little bit so we're just going to put a little just a little dose of oyster in here if I can get my spoon in there to work I need some little plastic spoons oh for goodness sakes can't even get that okay there's just a tad Oh, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Let's just see what we can come up with. Let's do it again. Do it again, Billy. Whoa. That's a lot right there. I want a little more green. What can I add? Should we just go ahead and add a little emerald? Or, yeah, a little evergreen. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Just a little bit. Maybe just a... This is beautiful. Ooh, a little more. Come on. Oh. All right. All right. Here we go. We're going with it. It's got a beautiful shimmer. Beautiful shimmer. Get a little piece of tape and grab that real quick. It's not going to pick up, is it? Well, get a little, just a little squirt of alcohol. I've got something over here too. Clean that up just real fast. I don't know what's over here dust. Must have came in from that piece. And we're working right side up. I've done the steampunk upside down. It's a little tough working upside down with resin. Well, get that out. Get that big chunk out of there. Okay. Is that the best I'm going to do? Now, I don't use mold release too often, but maybe I'll just uh, spray a little of that in here. I don't know 
you have to shake it. But. Okay, here we go. Spritz, 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 spritz. And I've got this on my leveling board. And uh, hopefully we're good to go. So let's just see where this gets us. Ooh, I think that's going to work beautifully. Let's see. Oh, you know, I have a question. If anyone knows, and I have looked, and I've asked people on Instagram, but I would like a template to place your clock numbers. You know, a big round template with different holes or different spots so you can see where you're supposed to put your numbers because I did a couple clocks earlier when I first started and I'll tell you, I had a, I had a time trying to get those lined up correctly, you know. Measuring tape, rulers, and a template would be really nice. I've, I've looked and I don't know, I don't know really where to start. Could have used a little more, I guess, but just going to take a peek. Let me just empty this out. That was a good, good guess. Cup. To write this down. I love the pearl essence it has. So, this is pretty thin. When we're finished, we'll put a clear layer on top. When we add all the goodies. Let's see, I'm trying to figure out if I can tell. Boy, that went right over there really well, didn't it? It's kind of... Hopefully I'm level, but clock is hanging over the leveling board about an inch on each side. I'll have to keep an eye on it. But that's a color. That's a good color. I will watch this for bubbles and while this is setting I'm going to go through my watch pieces and see what what we could use and find a nice butterfly or moth. Well, this is set up nicely, except there was one problem. My um, leveling board was not level, so I had a bunch of resin go up to the top this way, and there's less at the bottom this way. I don't guess that makes a big deal, but I'm going to have to be more aware of what I put down with height because, you know, originally I wanted to put this big piece here and um, the components right here are sticking up too far, just a little too far. So we'll have to put that one aside for another time. But I've got a bunch here that don't have high um, pieces sticking up. So, the other side is brown and red, but we're not using that. We're going full-blown green. So, maybe... Nope, that's not going to work. I am just going to start laying a few of these out. And let's see if I have a... Ooh, look at that one. That's pretty cool right there. That's a nice green. Maybe we can do a triangular sort of design, but I don't have one that big. Unless we stick to these. Well, we could just stick to those. Let's just stick to those. That stands out a little bit too... Oh, I don't know what I want to say. Obvi obvious? Let me just put a few sporadically in. That one's kind of plain. That one's kind of plain. 
That's a bright green too. What else do we have here? Ooh, look at this one with all the computer th things in there. It's got black on it, a black spot. Mm, that's that bright green too. This one's not so bright. We could use that. And there's a round one that's kind of cool, but it's got some sticky uppers on it. We'll pass on that too. And then the rest are little. So actually I like this one better than that one. Let's just go with that. This one, something's sticking up. Oh geez, something's sticking up there. Unless we go down where there was less resin, that should clear it. That should clear it okay. And we'll just, I'm not quite sure because it's a circle. Let's just do that and see what else we can find to fill in. Okay. All right. Um, we need a watch. We need a watch of sorts. So I had, you want to see something crazy? Oh my gosh, Billy. Look at this. Oh, it's heavy. Look at this. I have watches up the yin yang. But um, like I said, this is a lot of years of collecting pieces and parts. But back to this clock. This clock fit in here under the bezel but I don't want to use a bezel piece because we're going to do something else with those when I'm not sure but let's just throw down a clock it's going to throw down a watch I have another watch here and they're pretty easy to pop open this one has a cracked lens oh I thought it was still working for a second that would have been spooky just go in there and find cutting yourself find an edge to pull up oh I know this would work better Just find an edge to pull up and we'll pop that back off of there if I can do it on this one some are easy and some are tricky this might be a tricky one you gotta be very careful Oh, here we go. Maybe here we go. I think I had it. Pop that open. Look at the inside. How cool is that? Oh my goodness. I have to take the little dial knob out that it holds it in there too. So that's going to require a piece of plier or, oh, that one flew across the room. Don't know where it went. Don't know where it went to, but we're going to pull this face right out. Oh, there's a little battery. Save those too. Throw those in. Save that. We're going to do something with that. Something's on here. There's a little white thing on here. I'll take that off too. We don't need that. We just need the face. And if I can get the face off of this, we'd have another little mechanism to play with. There we go. Oh, I just lost the hands. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I'll leave that in there. Something else. Oh, look at that tiny little second hand. Throw that in there. Okay. There's two watches. Maybe we should go three. This one is open. Pop this one out too. I can get rid of that little hand. There it is. See, now we can use these. And one day when I get it together, we are going to use those. Instead of popping the back off, let's just get the battery out. They make nice little fillers too. And let's set the time. I am, um, well, I, uh, 420 out there. We're setting the clocks to 420. If anybody knows what that means. If you're an old 70s hippie, you'll know what that means. Anyway, okay, there's watches. This was a big chunk of something. I don't know if it will fit. Oh, well, let's see if that's going to be... Let's 
put a ruler across it. That will work, but it's kind of deep. I don't know if we'll be able to cover it, but it's pretty cool. I don't know where I got that either. So now we have to have keys. There's keys in Steampunk. And like I said, looky here, we've got keys. Let's just throw a couple keys down. I should be doing groups of three. I usually like groups of three. And uh, just throw a key in there. Might have to do more keys. And a moth. I need moths or butterflies. Now I am low on laminated moths and butterflies, but I have a, a few here. And these were laminated with my laminating machine. That's a real pre pretty big beauty right there. Oh, I like that one. Here's a green one. We're going to throw quite a few butterflies in there, I think. And there's a big moth. He's pretty, pretty neat. But let's go with a green moth. Not so big. We're just going to put him maybe over here. Nice moth. And, okay, those are the fundamentals. Now what I'm going to do is grab a tray. And, pardon the noise, because we're going to work larger to smaller, like we did on the decoupage. So, let's see what I have. There's something in this case, too. Oh my gosh, more components. All right, I have some... <coughs> Gears. We need gears too, so we'll find a place for those. Maybe I can go ahead and throw a couple of gears in here. Now I got this little package of gears from Kimu. They're quite shiny. I think those would be best used for jewelry. Because the ones I have here that I got from Amazon quite some time ago are um, more more of a brass. We can throw a couple of those around. That one's got a... Let's throw some brass in there. We'll, we might have to move them. But we're going to load this bugger up. See if we can find something else to put in there. There's a little one. Okay, we've got keys, we've got gears, we've got components and watches. So now I'm just going to grab a tray and I'm going to dump, oh my goodness, I'm going to dump some items right in here. Let's see what we have. All right. Now, the next size up, I've got a bunch of pieces here. There's some thick, heavy pieces. Um, let me just pull this aside and I'm just going to randomly, randomly pick some weird things. Here's a belt buckle attachment. I think that, oh, oh that'll work. There's just something else on it. Like I said, anything your heart desires, you can put. I don't know if that's going to stick up. I might have to cut those off. These little nibbits. Cut those off. Got some things here. Don't know what they do or what they were for. They came off of something. So we've got a few of those. Put that there. That piece is sticking up. So don't want to use that. Here's an old sanding bit. Put that down. Put a gear on top of it, I guess. Right? Well, I like that gear. It's got holes on both ends. That would be pretty cool for a bracelet, actually. So, um, yeah. I'm just going to start... Let me grab another gear. I like that one. I might have to save that one for something else. Isn't that terrible? We'll save it for something else. Save, save, save. I'm going to put that there. Well... I'm just going to play around and see what will fit. We don't have a lot of room, but then again, we do have a lot of room. Um, I'm just looking for flat pieces. Oh, here's a piece of jewelry. Where can we put that? Oh, we can put
put that here. See, that's what I meant by bigger pieces first. Let's save everything. I don't know what this is, but it's a moon. And I'll throw that over here. Um, since I ran sack through everything, screws are great. Screws and little springs. Oh, yes, yeah, springs. I don't know what this is, but it's a piece of wire. Um, here's another one of them uh, buckles. So that there. I'm going to have to cut that off, though. Um, let's see. I have to be careful I'm going shallow. Here's just a piece of metal. Like I said, just a piece of metal. Don't matter. Um, there's an old watch band, but it's a bit too big. What do we have here? This is silver something, just a silver disc. Um, here's a run over coin from the railroad track. Used to do that when I lived in California. We lived by with the railroad track, and just us kids would put, you know, coins on there, and the train would come by and just squish them flat. Squish them flat. Here's just a little, little component. So I'm going to go from, like I said, the larger to the smaller. Fill this up, and then we will. Um, go in the other room and I'll make some resin up and get this put together. Oh, that would spring wouldn't work. That's too big of a piece. We've got more screws, big screws, little screws, anything. I love taking things apart. I don't know why. You're, you can call me crazy. Makes no mind to me. This has always been my thing. So let me keep filling this up and I'll get back to you and I'll be in the other room with some resin made up. And uh, we'll have this this baby ready to ready to go. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, everyone. I had added a few more pieces into the clock, um, going from larger to smaller. And when I was looking at the butterflies, they were just, you know, flat, flat on that first layer. So I went ahead and I put bumpers on all of these butterflies. But before I set them in, I want to see how much resin I might need for another layer. Because if I need a third layer, um, we'll put these on top of the second when it's set. But I don't think, I don't know. We'll just see. Let's just, well, I want to keep them in. Forget what I just said. We're just going to put that butterfly in. And I added a few small things, but I want to add more. Of course I want to add more. Now, where did I have you? I had you something like that, maybe. That'll work. That'll work, I guess. Okay. Okay. See, it's raised. I'm happy about that. So I mixed up 16 ounces, two cups of the Let's Resin. And um, like I said, that's new to me and hardly a bubble. I'm just going to take my heat gun to that real quick. And then we'll gently pour and make sure I don't have fuzz or cat hair or anything like that. So let me pause you a second and use my heat gun on the resin. Okay, I probably could have let that set a few minutes, but I'm afraid um, if I take too long, you know what happens, that good old flash cure. So, let's just start in the middle and see if I have enough. And I haven't dipped anything, um, you know, in the resin. I'm just going to let the resin go and hopefully we don't have a lot of bubbles there goes the butterfly and I had to um, realign my leveling uh, board because it was off kilter when I did the first pour and that was obvious because I didn't have 
you know, it equal all the way around. Oh, there's going to be a floaty. Let's stop that. Let's just get a stick because we're going to have to maneuver a few of these these things, I'm sure. I want you to just back up. Back up, little butterfly. I've seen this white one drift, too. It'll take some maneuvering, so I'm going to definitely keep an eye on this today to make sure we don't have bubbles, we don't have fuzz, and um, it's level. Let's start over here so I don't... Well, I better just go ahead and cover this girl. And we're going to come over here. start slowly going around. Oh, something's off kilter over there. It moved. And I do have gaps. There's still some gaps, so I'm going to add a few more things. As we go, I want it full as full as can be. Gosh, this is nice resin. I think I, yeah, you know, I think this is going to be my resin of choice because it is so nice. It is so nice, and uh, I did weigh this resin. This big cup here and the little ones I use, uh, this um, is from the Dollar Tree. I think I got, or yeah, the Dollar Tree. And I think I got a set of three different sizes for what? Back then it was a dollar. And they're nice and hard. And the resin sticks to it, you know, and, and I just let it harden. And then when I'm bored, just go outside and just pick the resin off. It's quite satisfying, actually. So. I do enjoy that. And when I did mention in my community comment that this video is not on Sunday because my overnighter weekend last week got me behind. Oops, I just dropped that. Got me behind. And uh, I guess I can just explain to some of you that don't know. I, I'm in a band. I've been in a band. I've been in bands. 40 years. I was 21 years old when, oh God, it's 40, that's 40, oh my gosh. I just turned 67, so 46 years ago, 46 years ago, I uh, got into my first band as a vocalist. I always wanted to be on the Grand Ole Opry. That was my big dream as a little girl. But I think I'm fortunate now that I've been able to spend all those years you know, I was able to raise my family, and uh, that was grocery money. My, the band money was grocery money, and and now I'm playing keyboard, and um, I've always been able to just, how do I say it, very freeing on stage. Um, I didn't, I, at that time, I didn't have to be a mom. You know, I didn't have to be a, or an employee. I didn't have to be a wife. I didn't have to be anything I didn't want to be. So on stage, I was who I wanted to be. And it's just been such great, um, just a great release for me. So anyway, back to the point. Um, I've been doing it a long time. It's getting harder, I must say. Um, I can't lift a lot of equipment like I used to be able to, and I can't run across a stage like a maniac in high heels like I used to. <laughs> oh, my word. Anyway, um, my point is we are booked through August every weekend. So uh, there's a once a month we're going to be out of town. So what I'm trying to say is I cannot guarantee a Sunday video. But I will do my best to make sure you have one every week. It just might not be on a Sunday. 
and then maybe you know come winter I can get back into the Sunday routine but um, it's been a big part of my life and as long as I can uh, perform and play music you know I, I have to I, I'm not ready to stop just not ready and uh, hopefully I can just keep after it there I just took my micro brush and went around looking for bubbles around the edges so I have another tray um, I'll just share this with you I have another tray of the little the little things the littler things so I'm gonna set pop bubbles um, when it's finished I'd still like to set batteries where the clock numbers go I think that'd be fun but uh, I'm going to keep going, add a few more little pieces. I won't hold you up. And when I see you, we should be able to dismold. Hello, everybody. I'm back, and I'm ready to unmold this huge monster of a clock. And please pardon the glare. That's my overhead light, and that's like the only light I really have in this room. Um, I wanted to get to this earlier today but then the husband said why aren't you dressed and ready and I thought why what am I doing oh we had to go to the big city okay we're back from the big city and something else happened last night that I just freaked out because I could not find the beginning of this video and I thought where in the heck I know it was recording well, it ended up being in the cloud, and I've never sent anything to the cloud, but apparently when my phone updated, everything went to the cloud. So I found it. Oh, I found it. Oh, look at these. Those are big holes, aren't they? Gosh. Big spaces there. I thought maybe AAA batteries would cover that out, but look at... It's pretty, isn't it? If I slant it that way. Look at all the gizmos in there. Look at all kinds of bits and pieces and parts. Looks pretty awesome. Like I said, this is like 13 inches across. It's a big baby. Get this hole out of the center. Oh, there we are. Nice. I'm looking at it, and it almost looks cattywampus, but I don't think it is, because the mold is still pretty, in pretty good shape, and that's the first time I've used it. So let me put that aside. Um, looking at this now, I've got some rough edges here that I'm going to go out to the shed and just sand those down flush. Some of them are pretty sharp. I'm going to do that. And also the center here. I'm not which, sure which size clock mechanism to use, but that hole fits one perfect. I don't have to drill anything. But I need, do need to take that down a little bit. So I'm going to go outside and do that. Let's see the back. Oh, the back's nice. You can see where my pigments weren't mixed all the way. But... Uh, all right, I'm going to go, go do that little chore, and then I'm thinking, I don't know if I should trim the edges. I guess I'll see how this sanding looks, and I might just put a fine uh, trim of gold testers paint on that. So let me see how far I can get, and I will be right back with you. See you in a few minutes. Well, that didn't take too long, maybe how 15 minutes. Um, I need to wipe the dust off, and I do wear a mask when I'm sanding any type of resin out there. And, uh, gosh, I realized maybe I should start signing my um, pieces. So I've got uh, a baby wipe here. They're dried out, but I'm just going to wipe this uh, backside off with a baby wipe because they're nice and soft and I have my name in there I should date it I guess and let me wipe that off real quick I went ahead and did 
the inside pieces and I think they need something more than just open ovals, don't you? My edges are smooth. And I see a little fluff right there. Ugh. Oh well, it's where the hands will be going around. I hope it's not noticeable. That that would actually mean a top coat. But what I'm not sure about is the color of the hands. So here are the hands I have in different styles and colors. Well, automatically, I think red is out. Red is out. I've got a gold. Is that gold? Oh, that's, no, that's gold if you turn it over. If you turn it over, that's gold. You can't really see it. There's too much happening. This one is a black. Now that's a bit longer. That's the longest one. I don't, I think that's too long because I want to do something with those gaps. There's another red one. So I've got this extra long, well, it's not extra long. I've got this, it's just a plain Jane square or black points. I think we're going to have to go black to see that, don't you? It's pretty busy. And then I've got this kind of filigree black, but that's too busy too. So I think our best bet, um, I don't know why that's in there. I think the best bet would be this straight, these straight black pieces here. And that way they won't hit the batteries. I'm going to try batteries. I came across 10 used batteries, 10 triple A's, and I'm thinking, what if I glued them on there? Would that be too much too? I don't know. I think it would add something to the, what do you call it, the ambiance? No, the I don't know if Energizer would sue me unless I covered that up. Do it that way. And then I had two of these, these with black and white that I could put on, you know, 12 and 6. But, gosh, it's busy, isn't it? I wasn't even thinking about it being busy. You know, I could have left the inside plain and just did the outside, but me that wouldn't be steampunk so black hands I'm going to put the batteries on there like that I know you can't see all of me and I still have that glare I'm sorry whoops still have that glare um, from the light that one would be up here anyway I had just enough just enough of these here so I'm thinking that'd be pretty cool. Um, <laughs> it'd be pretty trippy if you'd been drinking and looking at that, trying to figure out what time it is. But okay, well, I sanded the edges and the inside little holes or ovals here. I went out to the garage again because I forgot to do the middle part where the clock goes and lo and behold guess what I was looking at I was looking at nuts I was looking at these nuts and the nuts right here if I put the nuts side by side I think the nuts look pretty good I think they look better than the batteries do actually so I was shy like 13 nuts so I went to see my neighbor Michael and Michael had some nuts so I got the rest of <laughs> the nuts I needed and uh he was talking to his other friend Mike and what are you doing Billy I said I, I need some nuts he kind of looked at me funny but that's what I needed I needed nuts so I'm gonna do the nuts instead of the batteries and I'm gonna still stick with the black hands 
and I'll probably take a little testers and do a fine black line around the edges here so rather than hold you up because this will take me some time to glue those in let's just set the clock mechanism in it and when you see this again it will be finished and it will be gorgeous so whoops now I need to decide which size mechanism I need in the clock. I have three sizes here. This one's quite long and tall. Don't think that'll be necessary. I think the short one here, and I can't remember the length, but um, I have all three sizes in my Amazon shop, and this is just over a half an inch. Just to try. Let's see. Oh, no. That's a little too short. We'll go medium. And I think that will do the trick. So, got my mechanism, got my instructions because, oh, that glare is still here. Whoops. I have another side light here. It's not helping much at all, is it? It'll just give us more glare. All right, putting on my glasses. And we are going to get the rest of these mechanisms. I just threw them all in a bag because I wasn't sure which which one I needed. So, with the instructions, and here's the nuts and bolts and washers. And see how that'll work. Okay, let me sit down a second. I can bring you down. Maybe we can get rid of some of that glare. Whoops, sorry. It's wiggly. Just my instructions. All right. Because heavens knows I forget how to do this. So, we have the back of our mechanism. And let's see. How does this go on? This goes on first. This is our hanger. We need to melt the hanger, then the big thick washer. What am I thinking? I'm backwards. No, I'm not. Am I right? No, you gotta slip it through first, Billy. Slip this under and through. Gosh, we might need the tall one after all this is said and done. I've got it backwards. Goes like that, upside down. There it is. Get that down. Where are we? Where's my finger? Okay, I see it. Like that. Then we put on our washer. What's this telling me? Oh, that goes in the back. Gosh, Billy. The washer goes in the back. Like that. Then through the hole, then we've got another little brass, brass washer, and then we have, where's our hands, have our hands here, get a scissor, yeah, I like the, I like the look of the, the nuts, actually, so, we need to find 12 o'clock, and I'm gonna, just gonna have 12 o'clock right about there. I need to dust that off some more. So, gosh, it all just goes in there. What if, can we do them all at the same time? Maybe. Something's not right. Oh, the washer. The little washer goes on here. I'll get a, um, wrench and tighten it in and then these just pop so you've got the hour whoops well the hour goes there come on why isn't that fitting it's going to rest right up there okay the hour the minute goes on. Come on, you. Like that. 
in our second hand and look at a battery and there we go got a little room there but I don't think the shorter one would fit bend that back it kind of got out of shape okay so that's how that's going to be I will get this all prepped, finished, and take a nice picture of it. And I'll let you see this when this is finished. So I hope you like my version of steampunk. Um, I got to looking at it thinking, oh, should I do a top coat? And I thought, no, there's just a few little pieces sticking up. We're going to be okay. So thanks for watching, everybody. Please like this video if you think... Um, I'm worth watching. Please subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you all. Good night. Sending hugs. Bye-bye. You know, I was going to say, before I leave you, um, I'm going to try to make a video coming up soon using these little plant stakes that you get from a nursery when you buy your flowers because I'm sure everyone is planting and getting their yards all ready for summer with uh, beautiful flowers so if you come across these save them we're gonna make something out of them all right bye well here it is my beautiful steampunk clock it is loaded pardon the glare it's kind of a cloudy day but I've got light coming into the window but it turned out so pretty. I love it. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please like and subscribe. I'm always up to something new. Have a great week, everybody. Take good care. Sending hugs. Bye.